If you like mountains, nature parks and decide to take a nice nature walk wandering around the Italian Alps and in particular the Aosta Valley, you absolutely cannot miss the famous waterfalls of Lilla, which I will show you today. But first, let me introduce myself. Watch folks, I'm Lawrence and my aim is to show you many places around the world from my partial human perspective. Before I start, help me to grow this project, snap me a like and subscribe. It was a bright and warm spring day in 2023. The ice was melting fast on the high peaks of the Aosta Valley and I was walking in the small village of Lilla near Konya in the deep beauty of the Gran Paradiso Nature Park. My goal that day was to visit the beautiful waterfalls that are really famous in this area, probably one of the most important waterfalls in the Aosta Valley and definitely a must see in this channel. So after passing to the small village where, if you wish, you can stop to eat a hearty meal after meeting this mighty feeling and after finding this small geological park, I took the path to the falls. The mule track was wide and flat and after 5 minutes I reached the first fall, fortunately it was full of water. Today I was lucky, sometimes it can happen that there is a little water, so I recommend that you visit this waterfall at most favorable times, especially in spring, not in summer, last time I went here in August the situation was embarrassing. Gran Paradiso Natural Park is an Italian national park located in the Grian Alps between the Aosta Valley and Piedmont and named after Mount Gran Paradiso that stood looking at me like a wise old snowy wizard, the Dumbledore of the mountains. Sometimes I can contemplate its majesty hoping for a wise advice of life but nothing happened and today anyway I had a mission to bring you the most beautiful part of the waterfall, the hidden and most epic fall. After photographing every last drop of water I wanted to change my perspective so I followed a narrow and steep path, definitely not for everyone. You know the Lilla waterfall are 150 meters tall so I had to climb a bit to reach first the top of the previous waterfall and then this bridge with a small wooden gate on the right. Of course, passing areas of absurd beauty and smaller streams scattered in the forest. I wanted to go through the wooden gate, but for a couple of minutes I found myself rather disoriented because there was a sign that said the private property. Would it be badly eaten by a Maremma dog? But my curiosity was killing me, so I dared and well, I was well rewarded, I guess. Three rivers of water were falling from a height of at least 10 meters and I was stunned by the majestic and unstoppable force that was being released. I was also thrilled because you know, I love filming water in slow motion. The river was clear and very cold but I met a couple of new friends who were swimming. They were very nice but in my opinion completely crazy. But everyone chooses their own way to die so no props. As far as I concerned I stopped for a while here to feel the energy of nature and to listen at the sound of the water that have this incredible property of making me relax and unwind completely. 
Then I returned to this bridge and followed the path through the woods back to the small village. I was happy and as I looked into the eyes of the ants in the Gran Paradiso I was scratched by a flash of awareness, which was that sometimes the flow never stops, even if you look at it with the wisest look in your heart. Guys, thank you for reaching the end card and for watching this video. As you can see, I'm again in Lillats at this moment. I'm happy because I was really lucky today because the weather is cloudy but not rainy, so it's perfect for shooting and taking shots of the water is really relaxing. I don't know. I, I'm so relaxed, guys. Now I, I sit on this grass and I take a nap. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I want to stay here forever. Huh? Oh my god. Come on. See you in the next video. In the meantime, cheers! <laughs>